Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Lucky, and I'm going to talk about a new way to target cachexia. So cachexia is uh, the loss, is weight loss that is associated with disease, and it can be associated with a whole range of disease, but uh, most commonly um, it's associated with cancer. We think of losing weight as good, but this is a situation when losing weight is bad. There are uh, drugs available to treat cachexia, but they're not particularly effective and we desperately need new treatments. This is Steve Jobs, former CEO of Apple. And even someone with such unparalleled access to healthcare is suffering quite badly from this disease by the end stage of his pancreatic cancer. So I'm a basic scientist, I'm a metabolic neuroscientist, and something that I know very well is that the brain is the master regulator of appetite, metabolism, and behavior. So targeting this system as a way of targeting the overall problem is something that I'm quite interested in. But we have other levels of regulation at fat and muscle, and targeting those in addition to the brain might be able to provide extra protection from wasting in cachexia. So because I'm a basic scientist, I looked at um, lessons learned from genetic studies to come up with some targets for this. So here we have two mice. We have a wild type mice that looks quite normal on the right and a, uh, a mouse with a, spe a specific knockout in the brain on the left. Uh, and you can see that this mouse is quite a lot fatter than its brother. So this particular target might be helpful in combating fat mass associated uh, fat mass loss with associated with cachexia. Um, to, to attempt to target this, I used a genetic approach to turn off this system in the brain when mice already had pancreatic cancer. And you, you can see here from the graph that the mice that are, have untreated cancer in black lose quite a lot of fat mass, whereas those that have this particular target in the brain switched off, shown in fuchsia, don't lose fat mass at all, indicating that this um, is a, a, a good target for treating appetite and fat mass loss. However, the other tissue we need to protect in cachexia is muscle. This is a different uh, set of genetic brothers, um, and you can see that one is a normal mouse and one has quite uh, buff muscles. So blocking... Um, and this, this is a knockout of a specific target in muscle. So perhaps blocking this target will provide a way to block um, muscle wastage. So this, uh, moving from genetics into a rationally designed polypharmacy, the idea would be to block the brain to improve appetite and fat mass loss and to block uh, this negative regulator of muscle to improve both fat and muscle wasting. Why would we want to do that? We have an ageing population and wasting disorders are a growing concern. So to focus on cancer for a moment, cancer cachexia is ne a nearly $3 billion market projected from 2020 to 2027. And this is a death that cuts across disease. So mortality rates from uh, cachexia in um, across various disorders range from 15% to 80%. And this uh, results in uh, approximately 1% of the patient population suffering from cachexia. So our strategy targets are universal regulatory systems to provide a broad solution for all of these um, disease-associated cachexias. Uh, just to take you through the pipeline, you can see where we are in the middle. So we have already shown that our muscle target improves muscle mass in healthy mice and that our brain target improves outcomes in animal models of chronic kidney disease, cancer and infection. Going forward, we need to optimise our muscle, muscle target from a gene therapy, a transgene delivery to an injectable form and then combine the two targets together to optimise a drug that works across cachexia models. We're then looking to do toxicology screening and at this point we will have an optimised drug approach and be looking to licence and exit. The investment we're seeking for these animal, uh, for these animal studies is $1.5 million over three years. The team to do this is Dr. Daniel Marks, oh, sorry, Professor Daniel Marks, um, who's a practicing endocrinologist uh, working at Oregon Health and Science University, myself, a basic metabolic neuroscientist, Dr. Kelly Walton, who uh, co heads the Growth Factor Therapeutics Laboratory and, and has developed these um, muscle targets, and Associate Professor Erica Sloan, a cancer biologist, who will assist us with um, the cancer specific uh, cachexias in this project. Uh, thank you very much for listening.